Welcome to Daily Scripture and Meditation with Shirley Celis Jackson. We begin, as always, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Friday, the 3rd of December, 2021, of the first week of Advent, is also first Friday of the month, and the memorial of St. Francis Xavier. Laudate, our daily prayer. Lord Jesus, help me to draw near to you with faith and trust in your saving mercy and power. Free me from doubt and unbelief that I may approach you confidently and pray boldly with expectant faith. Let your kingdom come and may your will be done in me. Amen. Magnificat Daily Scripture but first, an overview on the memorial of St. Francis Xavier. A founding member of the Jesuit order, Francis eagerly accepted a commission to preach the gospel to the people of the East. Arriving in Goa, India, he began his work catechizing the Portuguese. From there he traveled to India, Sri Lanka, Malaysia, and Japan. In a letter from India, he wrote, I looked or desired for nothing here but to wear myself out with work and sacrifice my life itself in bringing about the salvation of souls. Firm, thorough, and determined, Francis was always looking for a way to extend the reach of the gospel. He was preparing to enter the vast territory of China when he died in 1552. On that day the eyes of the blind shall see. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah, chapter 29, verse 17. Thus says the Lord God, But a very little while, and Lebanon shall be changed into an orchard, and the orchard be regarded as a forest. On that day the deaf shall hear the words of a book. And out of gloom and darkness the eyes of the blind shall see. The lowly will ever find joy in the Lord, and the poor rejoice in the Holy One of Israel. For the tyrant will be no more, and the arrogant will have gone. All who are alert to do evil will be cut off. Those whose mere word condemns a man, who ensnares his defender at the gate, and leave the just man with an empty claim. Thus says the Lord, the God of the house of Jacob, who redeemed Abraham. Now Jacob shall have nothing to be ashamed of, nor shall his face grow pale. When his children see the work of my hands in his midst, they shall keep my name holy. They shall reverence the Holy One of Jacob and be in awe of the God of Israel. Those who err in spirit shall acquire understanding, and those who find fault shall receive instruction. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Psalm 27 The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation, whom should I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge, of whom should I be afraid? One thing I ask of the Lord, this I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, that I may gaze on the loveliness of the Lord and contemplate His temple. I believe that I shall see the bounty of the Lord in the land of the living, Wait for the Lord with courage. Be stout-hearted and wait for the Lord. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Behold, our God shall come with power. He will enlighten the eyes of his servants. 
Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Believing in Jesus, two who were blind are cured. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew chapter 9 verse 27. As Jesus passed by, two blind men followed him, crying out, Son of David, have pity on us. When he entered the house, the blind men approached him, and Jesus said to them, Do you believe that I can do this? Yes, Lord, they said to him. Then he touched their eyes and said, Let it be done for you according to your faith. And their eyes were opened. Jesus warned them sternly, See that no one knows about this. But they went out and spread word of him through all that land. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Magnificat Meditation of the Day is entitled a prayer to be healed. O oh, my powerful God and merciful Father of my soul, creator of all the things of the earth, since you are my only good, I firmly believe without the possibility of doubt that I am to be saved through the infinite merits of the passion and death of my Lord Jesus Christ. No matter how very great may be the sins of my youth, and all that I have committed since then. You, Lord, created me and gave me my body and soul and all that I have. And you, my God, have made me to your likeness and not the false gods of the Gentiles. O oh, Christians, let us give thanks and praise to God three and one who has given us to know the faith and true law of His Son, Jesus Christ. O oh, my Lady, Saint Mary, Hope of Christians, Queen of Angels and of all the saints who are with God, our Lord in Heaven, I now recommend myself to you, my Lady, and to all the saints at the hour of my death, so that you may protect me from the world, the flesh, and the devil which are my enemies. O Lord, Saint Michael, defend me from the devil at the hour of my death, when I shall have to render an account to God of all my past life. Weigh, Lord, my sins against the merits of the passion and death of my Lord Jesus Christ, and not against my few deserts, and I shall thus be delivered from the power of the enemy and shall go to enjoy forever the glory of paradise. Amen. Jesus. This meditation was written by St. Francis Xavier who died in 1552 and was a great Spanish Jesuit missionary to Asia. Laudate, Reflections and Actionable Challenges from Our Scriptural Readings Introductory Prayer Heavenly Father, I gladly spend a few minutes with you to be close to you because you know how much I need your presence and grace in my life. You deserve to be the center of my thoughts and desires, but often I let myself be taken up by the anxieties of daily life. Sorry, Lord, but at least here I am now, hungry for you alone. Today, Lord, I accompany the whole church as we begin the Advent season and begin to prepare for your coming to earth as a baby on Christmas morning. Our petition for the next three challenging opportunities to help advance the kingdom of God on earth. Lord Jesus, help me to see as you see. Our first challenging opportunity. Son of David, have pity on us. 
Lord Jesus, these blind men sought you with attitudes of humility and contrition. They approached you fully aware of their limitations and weaknesses. In fact, it was because of these limitations that they drew near to you. Perhaps if they had been healthy, they might never have moved toward you. They didn't feel any self-pity or approach you complaining about their situation. They didn't ask, why did you allow me to be born blind? It's not fair that I cannot see. Why did this happen to me? They asked none of these questions in the face of suffering. The type of questions I am so prone to ask. Lord, please help me to be profoundly aware of my weaknesses and to draw near to you in the midst of trials. Those men who had once been blind were able to soar high with their wings of faith. What gifts of grace does our Lord wish to grant me through my current ills and woes? Challenging Opportunity Number 2 Do you believe that I can do this? Lord Jesus, all things were created through you. I truly believe that you can heal. I truly believe that you can cure. I truly believe that you have total power over all created realities. Please increase my faith in you and in your power over all the events and activities of my life. I believe that you permit all that happens to me for a reason. If it is something that is difficult, you permit it so that you can bring good from it. Please strengthen me so that I can collaborate with you in bringing good out of evil. Our third challenging opportunity. They went out and spread word of him throughout the land. When we approach you with humility and faith, you act in our lives in truly remarkable ways. Your actions in our lives cause us to love you more and to experience within ourselves a profound gratitude. Despite your stern warning, the blind men couldn't keep silent about your curing them. How else can we show our gratitude than by telling those around us about the great things you have done for us? Your actions in our lives inspire us to spread your word. How can we put that light under a bushel basket? How can a city set on a hill be hidden? How can we not tell those around us of all the great things you have done for us? Our conversation with Christ. Lord, your ways are not our ways. You see good where we may only see evil. I need a vision of faith so I can interpret actions and events with an attitude of confidence and gratitude. You are in charge. I trust in you and want to convince many others to confide in you as well. Our Resolution I will offer a word or gesture of encouragement to somebody in need. Further Reflection In your light we see light. Psalm 36.10 Quote, As Jesus moved on from there, two blind men came after him crying out, Son of David, have pity on us. Unquote. Matthew 9:27. Among other things, Christmas is a celebration of Christ, the light of the world. John 1:5. But what if we cannot see the light of life? John 8:12. And the light of Christmas. We must be healed of our blindness this advent. The Lord promises, Out of gloom and darkness the eyes of the blind shall see. Isaiah 29, 18 Jesus will touch our eyes, and we will recover our sight. 
Matthew 9.29 This happens when we, by faith, Matthew 9.29 Accept God's grace to repent of our sins, which have blinded us to the Lord. Imagine going through Christmas, pretending you see the Christmas lights and candles. When others would remark on the beauty of the lights, you would pretend to agree but not have any idea what you were not seeing. So many people go through Christmas in an even worse condition. They use the word Christmas without seeing what it means. They see the manger scene with their physical eyes but are blinded to its significance. They see O come, let us adore him, but are blinded to the divinity of Christ, which makes him adorable. We need an Advent healing from spiritual blindness to see and celebrate the Christmas light. Jesus, you opened my eyes at baptism. Touch my eyes and renew my baptism to see you, the light. Our prayer. Father, I once was lost, but now I'm found, was blind, but now I see. This comes from the song Amazing Grace. God's Promise to Us They shall keep my name holy, they shall reverence the Holy One of Jacob, and be in awe of the God of Israel. Those who err in spirit shall acquire understanding, and those who find fault shall receive instruction. Isaiah 29.23 Thomas A. Kempis quote from the Imitation of Christ What should I do in my most great tribulations and necessities? Didst thou not strengthen me with thy holy words? We are God's hands, feet, and voice. May his peace rest upon you as you go and announce the gospel of the Lord in your words and deeds. Thank you for joining today. Abundant blessings upon you and yours. Amen. We close, as always, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you.